Hi there, how are you? How have you been? Here we have another, we have, I have another video for you guys. A Blu-ray video. Like I've been doing so many because, well they're easy to make and I have a ton of Blu-rays. It's still to go through. <laughs> so we'll be doing that. So, I have uh, two stacks here. Like last time. Oh, let's see, what are we gonna go through first? Uh, actually, let's, let's, let's look at this first. Let's look at this. So, at some point in the past, I've shown you this. No doubt, I've shown you the in between is movie. If you don't know what this is, it's based off of a British TV show, which is one of my favorite of all time. It's absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. I think it only has does it have 18 episodes? One, two, three seasons, six episodes. This is the first film with the four characters. Uh, Will, Simon, Jay, and Neil, <laughs> they go to uh, Magaluf, a great, and of course they're British, and uh, you know, shenanigans ensues, and it's, uh, it's over the top, good, stupid fun. It's, uh, you know, I, I really like it. This is a movie you've probably heard of super bad, but it's like, a, this is British, of course, and I just find the British humor, super bad is good. Uh, but it's one of the few American movies that does humor well. I, I really find American movies trying to be funny, often very unfunny. But uh, the in between us, they pull it off very well. And uh, this is the sequel where they go to Australia. They go to Australia. And why I think that's cool is uh, because they go to Queensland, to the Gold Coast. What's crazy is that because I bought that one new, it's it's brand new. Um, I bought it for like five bucks sealed. It had been sealed since 2014. And what's crazy about that is it is 2014. It had this in it. Win a trip for two to Queensland, which is exactly where I am right now. I don't need to win a trip to it, but obviously that's the UK Blu-ray. So just for people who are in the UK. And the actual prize you you could win was pretty good. Um, return flights to Brisbane, two day Fraser Island trip, three days sailing around the White Sundays, um, three days to Magnetic Island, uh, four days in Brisbane, a Great Barrier Reef trip, a rafting day trip, a surf lesson, a uh, half day surf lesson, all this kind of stuff. Pretty pretty good um, for just a winning. You know, just buying a Blu-ray, if you'd win that pretty fantastic if you're from the UK but yeah both films both, both films I really recommend if, I mean, if you've seen the series you've probably seen the movies too if you haven't definitely check them out I have another comedy here this is a film that I don't know if I've met I've shown before I really can't remember so I'm just gonna quickly show it in case I have but I didn't want to show it. I didn't want to show it because I just couldn't remember. And that is the original, The Hangover. And uh, this is the one of the Blu-ray Platinum Collection version, the extended cut. And uh, yeah, I think The Hangover is pretty great. The first one, I've never seen the second one, uh, but I always hear that it's uh, pretty bad. And then the third one, which I I. I actually didn't mind. I watched it in school. I never seen the first one until I until I watched this recently. I only seen ever seen the third one, and uh, I didn't mind it. But people like it the least. But but I also I think the, the second one is probably the worst one. But I have to watch watch them again. I, I I've seen the second one like I I don't remember it, which is not good. You know. But yeah, the Hangover. With uh, Bradley Cooper, Ed Helms, and Zach Elf. 
Dothrakis. Another good comedy. One of the few. One of the few American comedies that's not too bad. I have another one here. Brand new, uh, unsealed though. Uh, Blu-ray Platinum Collection. And that is three hundred. I love how red looks on the camera, like we saw last time with um, Cabin Fever. It looks great. I don't know if it's colouring or, or what. But uh, it's a uh, Jared Butler's film. Where he plays um, the epic graphic novel by Frank Miller, who made Sin City, the Salsa Screen with the Blood Thunder and all of his ferocious visual style. Uh, and it, yeah, it's a intense blend of live action CI um, animation retelling the injured battle of Thermopylae. Thermo Thermopylae. It depicts a titanic clash in which King Leonidas, Jared Butler, and 300 Spartans fight fought to the death against Xerxes and his massive Persian army. It's a bit of a, bit of a very, you know, bit of a famous film par uh, by Zack Snyder, directed, and uh, parodied by, um, what's his name? Gosh. Uh, what's his name? What's its name? Meet the Spartans, and I remember that. <laughs> Bloody awful film, but meant to be a parody, you know, it's like a scary movie and stuff, so it was a parody of, of a couple of different things, but it was a parody of 300, uh, I believe. I haven't seen that in years. Next up, we have a, another film that's brand new, but unsealed. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio in Shutter Island. Now, this film is interesting because I mean, I've seen so many of Scorsese's films, I've never seen this one. And Erica doesn't like this one. She loves the Scorsese films, and I do as well. I've never seen this one. She saw it, and she didn't like it. She said it was her least favorite of Scorsese's films she's seen. So I'm very curious because, you know, it seems like one of those films that uh, I would probably like. Kind of a slow-paced thriller. That's how she described it, at least. Capra is always great, especially in Scorsese's films with, uh, for example, Wolf of Wall Street as well. Especially Wolf of Wolf Creek, but that's a different film. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious, curious to watch it, but I don't really know how much to say about it because, well, yeah, I haven't seen it. Um, and uh, I don't know anything about it. I know that he goes to, uh, what do we see the actor in it? Uh, just it just it's just him as the lead, but yeah, he goes to some asylum on an island um, for the criminally insane and something shocking and terrifying trees by the island. He learns that there are some places that never let you go. Whew, spooky, but yeah. <laughs> Erica came home. Erica came home. So I, I completely lost my track of what I was talking about. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. I was talking about. So I'm sorry if you can hear anything in the background, you probably won't, but just in case. This has a really nice slip cover. It sounds really nice. A single man by Tom Ford, yes. Tom Ford, the perfumer. I made a couple of films, and the ones I've seen, which are Nocturnal Animals, which Jake, with uh, Jake Journal, and I think also has Julian Moore. Um, uh, and, and this one, A Single Man with Colin Firth, I really like them. I don't know what, he's done a good job. They're certainly not for everyone, but I've enjoyed both of the films I've seen from him. This one has a, has a really nice slipcover. And I got this really cheap as second hand. I got it for like a few dollars. Crazy. Crazy what you can pick up on eBay. I work at night, right, in the middle of the night. And if you look on eBay, like newly listed in the middle of the night, um, people post this stuff in the middle of the night. You, if you, you know, you can get to it straight away. You can pick it up for a few bucks, which is just crazy. So let me take this out of the slipcover for you. It's a bit. It's in there, pretty good. So gotta be careful. 
careful, that's not too loud. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice, yeah, it's like, it's not like a, it's, yeah, it's like, it's like that nice, like, kind of textured effect. I mean, 
adjust the lens, that's the problem. It's been out of focus this whole time. This beautiful, just incredible uh, comic book star with Sylvester Stallone holding it, Rambo holding a RPG. And it's similar to the ones I've shown you previously, like uh, an Elsin Wanted, uh, Hot Fuzz, you know, those ones. Part of that Universal. That's also Studio Canal as well. Studio Canal's great, man. They've, they've done so many. I'm gonna in one of the next videos. I'm gonna have a whole, um, a whole heap of just uh, the films that are just these uh, classics remastered. Um, just, just, just a bunch of the ones that they've released in the last year that I've that I've acquired. This looks, looks fantastic, and the fact that it's sealed is, is amazing. Very interested in getting into the Rambo franchise, and you know what? Maybe I'll watch the first four, and I'll be like, oh, actually, I want to see Lost Blood again, you know? It was just not good that I watched that first, you know? It probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I have three left, three cases now. First, I'll show you this. This film is one of the greatest films ever made, in my opinion. It's one of my favorite films in my top 25 of all time. Somewhere in my top 25, somewhere maybe in my top 15. This film is fantastic, and it is with one of my top three favorite actors of the last 15 years. Absolutely phenomenal. It has to be up there as number one. Number two, maybe, of my favorite foreign actor. No, you know what? Actually, oh, an actor that's not either British or American. He definitely is my favorite. Music Joy comes close as being my favorite too. But uh, I think Matt Mickelson beats him just by a smidge. Because my God, he is amazing. He is so multi-talented. And this film, The Hunt, Danish film from 2012 by the same director, Thomas Vinterberg, as a film he did recently, Another Round, which is also incredible, and I will show you at some point in the future. But this, yeah, this film, he won Best Actor at the Palm d'Or, for the, he won the Best Actor at Cannes. Um, this film, I'm not going to say what happens, let me say it like this. Basically, it's a man who lives in a small town, very, very connected community. He has a, a son, and basically, because of paranoia and lies being told by certain people, or, you know, by a child saying certain things and being picked up by parents in a certain way, suddenly, People think that he is a, um, well, he's a pedophile, that's what people think. And he's obviously innocent. Um, uh, he's innocent in, in the film, and it's basically him being kind of pushed out of this community slowly by the, the people uh, that live there, and him trying to prove his innocence. Um, and it's, it's fantastic kind of seeing the way that the people just kind of like this herd mentality, kind of uh, one by one start to... Uh, put, you know, kind of uh, step away from him, and he he feels abandoned by his he's completely abandoned by his own community, even though he's speaking the truth. It's fantastic. I mean, it's amazing. It's incredible. The the, the just kind of the, the, the thing. And it's also in a beautiful white case, white pillar case. Incredible film. If you can get your hands on a copy, please please see it. And then I have two more films. This one, the next one. It was sealed up until recently, I unsealed it, otherwise we were never going to watch it. Because it is a film that is one of the only films I own in a black Blu-ray case. The other two being The Lighthouse and Bone Tomahawk, which you'll see in the future. Erica gave this to me as a present. <laughs> She's too scared to watch it herself. It has to be the scariest horror film I, 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 I own. I have no good authority. This film is absolutely terrifying. 
many people I know have seen it and they say that after watching it they see apparitions in their room they can't sleep at night for days weeks on end I don't know how true that is but I have done good authority and I am I'm not surprised from the things that I have seen of this film Lake Mungo now this film is Australian of all things it's an Australian horror movie and it comes in this beautiful blue, uh, black blurry case and when you read about it it sounds like a cheap kind of knockoff film 16 year old Alice Palmer tragically drowned while swimming in the local dam and in the days that follow her grieving family began to experience a series of strange and inexplicable events Seeking the help of a parapsychologist, the search for answers reveals that Alice had been living a disturbed uh, life and hiding dark secrets. Something had haunted her daughter, and the terrifying truth awakes at Lake Mungo. None of that makes any sense, really. To, to, like, it's a very basic kind of premise, but at the same time, the things I've seen from this film scare me so much that it's the only film to this day I haven't been able to go and see it and just, and just sit down and watch. Um, but I will have to soon, we unsealed it, so we have to, we have to at some point soon, and I will, don't worry, it's just a bit scary, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not that easily scared, right, like, again, I've been plenty of horror films, uh, that I love, trying to help, so just, uh, the scent, um, you know, that, <laughs> You know, they don't get to me, but uh, Lake Mungo, yeah, it's freaking me out. I haven't seen it yet, you know. Next up, and this is the final one we have today, but it is an eight film collection. So it's a big one. And it's a legendary franchise. And this I got picked up sealed recently. I opened it up. And as soon as I opened it up, the blurry case cracked. Uh, it made me. Oh. But it wasn't like something I did. I just opened the case and it cracked. And it, it's fine. It's just a little bit of damage, but it's, it's still disappointing. It is the eight film collection of Harry Potter. All eight films. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, my favorite. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Robert Pattinson. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Harry Potter Deathly Hallows and Harry Potter. And the Deathly Hallows part two. So, my friends, so let's open it up and have a look. Very nice. See the sorting out in the back. And I got seen Harry Potter since I was a kid when I owned the movies on VHS of all things and then DVD and now to have it on Blu-ray very nice you can see here's where it broke like oh you can't really like it, it's like all like like that and it's like come on it's a shame but it's so it has all, all, it has all eight films in here. I actually just tap on this for a second. Just my time has. Because I really like what 
discs. They don't just do generic like the standard discs that they put together. No, no, no. They are custom, which which I really like. So, so I'm gonna be careful so I don't break the the the, the, the thing anymore. This is brand new. I haven't seen any of these yet. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go and see them. Sit down and watch them again. So we've got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which is PG. We've got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which is also PG. Then we've got Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which is my favorite, which is the last of the PG ones. Because then from Goblet of Fire, which is year four, it becomes M. Then we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And then we have Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And finally, 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 we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. And Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 4. Four, really. Four. Part 2. I don't know where I've got four from just then. But uh, no, it's Part 2. Thank you for watching.